Hi Stampers, this is Holly from Rubber Redneck. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to another Rubber Redneck video tutorial. Today's video is going to be demonstrating the Letterpress Winter Card, which uses the Letterpress Winter Stamp Set from our holiday catalog. This card is my customer promotion for the month of December, starting today, December 1st, through the end of the month, December 31st, 2014. When you place an order online through my Stampin' Up! store, you will receive this hand-stamped card in the mail. Along with, I will email you the mini PDF to recreate this card. Here's the front view, and then here is the inside. To create this card, you want to cut one piece of Lost Lagoon cardstock at 5.5 by 8.5. Place it onto your Simply Scored scoring tool and score it at 4.25. Once you have it scored, use the bone folder to crease down your score line. Take the stamp from Letterpress Winter, ink it in Lost Lagoon, and stamp around your edges of that Lost Lagoon cardstock. Cut one piece of smoky slate cardstock at four inches by five and a quarter. Then you want to cut three pieces of the All Is Calm Specialty Designer Series paper. You want to cut one piece in this pear pizzazz pattern, and you're going to cut that at two inches by three and three quarters and glue that to the right side of that smoky slate cardstock. Cut one piece of the All Is Calm Specialty Designer Series paper in the stripes pattern. Cut that at one and a half by five and a quarter. Glue that across the bottom of your smoky slate cardstock. Cut one piece of the All Is Calm Specialty Designer Series paper in that silver foil pattern. You're gonna cut that at two inches by five inches. Glue that to the center of your layers. You want to cut six and a half inches of the quarter inch pear pizzazz cotton ribbon. Place glue dots on each end of the ribbon and wrap that around your layers here. And when you wrap this around, you want to just go so that you are covering the top of that stripes pattern here in the back. So it'll have a little bit of that foil sheet showing here on underneath here. Cut one piece of Lost Lagoon cardstock at two and three quarters by four inches. Cut one piece of Whisper White cardstock at two and three quarters by four inches. Take the stamps from Letterpress Winter, ink them in Pear Pizzazz, Smoky Slate, and Lost Lagoon, and stamp onto the cardstock. Once you have that stamped, place some glue onto the back and then place that on the center of the Lost Lagoon cardstock. Or place it right onto the Lost Lagoon cardstock, lining up your edges. Cut one piece of window sheet at two and three quarters by four inches. Take your glue and just put a little bit of glue around the edges of your Whisper White cardstock. Cut one piece of Lost Lagoon cardstock at two and three quarters by four inches. Zip that through the Big Shot with the Chalk Talk Framelits die cutting the center of it out. Take the stamp from Letterpress Winter, ink it in Lost Lagoon, and stamp onto your Lost Lagoon cardstock. Once you have that stamped on there, then you want to take some of those frosted sequins, and you can do this two ways. You can either put them on underneath the window sheet or you can attach these to the window sheet. I attached mine to the window sheet. So just attach them with some glue dots randomly on there and keep in mind that you want them so they're gonna show through your little window here. So you can lay that on there for your guide if you want.
And once you have those placed on there, then you're ready to glue the Lost Lagoon to your window sheet. So just put some glue onto the back. And then place that right onto that window sheet. Making sure you line up your edges with the window sheet and the Whisper White cardstock. So there's what it will look like so far. Once you have that part done, you're gonna attach this to your layers. And you wanna attach it with stamping dimensionals. So you will we'll need two stamping dimensionals. And I put one on the sides. And then I just place that right in the center over all these layers. You'll want to glue your Smoky Slate cardstock to your last Lagoon card base. Cut two inches by two inches of the silver foil sheet, and then once you have them cut, you want to zip that through the big shot and you're going to die cut that out with the snowflake card thinlet. There's a little snowflake that comes in there so just die cut that out. Once you have that die cut out you're going to just attach your little silver flake with a glue dot. And then place this in the bottom right corner of your last lagoon cardstock. Take one of the all is calm Snowflake embellishments. You're going to attach this with a glue dot to the center of your silver foil flake. You will need your Subtles candy dots and you want one of the soft sky ones. Place that right onto the center of that all is calm snowflake embellishment here on your snowflake. Then take one of the frosted sequins and you want one of the little small silver ones. Place a glue dot at the top onto the back and then place this at the top of your card right onto the smoky slate card stock. You'll want three rhinestone basic jewels so I just took them off this little strip here. I cut them so that I had three of those together and then you're just going to place this onto the designer paper here at the bottom. And then that completes the front of the card, so now you want to do the inside of your card. You're going to cut one piece of smoky slate cardstock at four inches by five and a quarter. Cut one piece of whisper white cardstock at three and three quarters by five inches. Take the stamp set from Letterpress Winter, ink the stamp and smoky slate, and stamp on that right corner. Glue your whisper white cardstock to your smoky slate. And then place this in the center of your smoky slate. Cut one piece of the All Is Calm Specialty Designer Series paper in the pear pizzazz pattern. Cut that at a half an inch by five and a quarter. Glue this to the bottom of your layers. And you want to glue that so it goes right between your snowflakes where you stamped on the right side here. Glue your layers to the inside of your card. And then that completes the tutorial for the letterpress winter card. Visit my blog, rubberredneck.typepad.com to find out where to place your Stampin' Up! order so that you can receive this card in the mini PDF. Thank you for watching.